you, Sin. We've got a big case here. Where have you been? Stop me if you heard this one. Man goes into a drive-thru. He's there to order a burger and fries. He's only there because he's drunk. He falls asleep on the way to pay for his meal. The people call the police saying there's a man asleep in our drive through What shall we do? Cop shows up, wakes the person up, says, hey, could you pull over here and let's see if you're actually sober because I smell alcohol. He does what he says. He fails the test. He says, all right, well, I'm sorry. You're, you're pretty much under arrest here for being drunk while behind the wheel. And uh, some apology back and forth happens. Then the man turns around and beats the shit out of the cop. Steals his taser. Then tries to run away. And as he's running away, he turns around and tries to shoot the taser at the cop. And he takes three bullets. But at this point, the man is now a martyr. He's, he's a hero of the people because he died by a white police officer. And he happened to be black. Therefore, public outrage should ensue. Now, if this sounds familiar to you, there's a certain city that's about to go up in flames. And I'm going to be entertained as fuck to watch it. Because... All the people backing the Black Lives Matter movement. All these people thinking it's a righteous against police brutality movement. Because all cops are bastards. Because police are evil. Because all this nonsense. are about to learn the hard fucking way why they're not. I'm looking forward to it, to be personal. Um... There's a lot of people out there who's probably planning, you know, they probably had the notion to remove certain people from their lives permanently, but didn't because the cops were around. Guess what's not around no more to stop them? There's, there's a few people out there that they wouldn't give a shit. If there's no consequence to their action, they'll do it. They don't care. They're broke. They're no, there's no jobs. We're in the middle of a pandemic, supposedly. What's to stop them from robbing a place? Killing the, killing the person. Taking everything they own. And just walking away. No cops. Who's going to stop them? Who's going to find out? Who's going to charge them? No, see... Postmodern Marxist morons thinks the community will solve these problems. The community will get behind and say, no, Mr. Bad Person, you shouldn't do that. The fuck they will. Mobs like that didn't happen, but they always rallied behind a single person with a little star. A tin man. People seem to forget how people behave. These inner city d dumbasses are about to learn the hard way. Why police were important. It's going to be very entertaining to me to watch all of the places that think this is a good idea break down. In fact, I think most major cities that aren't having this crazy shit, the most major cities that... Uh, they have the Black Lives Matter protests, and those people go ape shit. Quick, cops, stay home. One week free paid vacation on the people. I'm still opportuning and still promoting and still thinking that that's the right way to do things at this point in time. You think they're a bunch of bastards. Well, let's see you survive without them. Oh, and all those senators and mayors, and governors, who are on the side of the protesters, defending the protesters. 
because you're an elected official and you're on the side of the people and the people's demand no police. Well, don't call the police when they come knocking at your door because you're an elected official. You are a part of the problem. You think communists like government? You think you're safe? Well, you, you got another thing coming, I'm sure. It's going to be very entertaining to see all you people break down and cry and, and melt into the sand because you're cowards. You're idiots. You're foolish. See, this is a problem of our own making. The Black Lives Matter protests, the Black Lives Matter movement, the Black Lives Matter this, that, and the other is a racist organization brought up by racists, given power by racists, promoted by racists. Ironically, they're all Democrats, so go figure. Racism has no place in this country. Period. Zero. None. And there should be no tolerance for racism. So these racist policies trying to promote and uh, do whatever to help these people should be sued. Now you can't stop somebody from giving money to a charity like Wendy's did, like Patreon does, like so many others have done. Doesn't mean you have to give them their business anymore. The problem is some of these companies have become so big that they own half the market. So how are you going to get away from these assholes? Well, small business. Oh, wait. Corona closed the small businesses. Well, shit. There goes that idea, didn't it? Well, we're about to see a little bit of an uprising, I think. The Tim Pool Civil War is about to begin, I think. It's going to be the level-headed, normal people against the far right, the far left, and every Marxist, socialist, commie in between. It's going to be a grand old time, and I don't think I'll even be on the front lines. I'm going to let them watch. I'm going to sit back and watch, because I know what side's going to win. It's not going to be the commies. It's not going to be any of those. They'll try to strike in the night. But it's not going to end well for them. There's too many people against their little regime. So, after seeing this, watching what happened in ATL, and now the cops are not even showing up to work, well, uh, let's watch this roller coaster typhoon crash, shall we? The rails are missing. This is going to be a clusterfuck of epic proportion. See you next time. All our hard work for nothing.